so I said I'd do a, uh, another quick explanation of how I've routed uh, the Push 2, the MPC, TD3 RD9, Digitact, Pro 3, Grandmother and Mini Freak um, all together so that they work um, essentially just sending simple start stop messages to each other. Uh, I've done it so that it's easy to, one, um, I can press play on the push and that everything will be in sync, Ableton and all of this lot. Um, just to clarify it so that it's sending MIDI clock um, for start, stop and uh, tempo sync and then I'll use the sequencers on the Mini Freak, uh, the Pro 3, RD9, CD3, uh, the MPC, its internal sounds and samples but also I've set it up so that if I want I can trigger these individually uh, off the MPC and then I've also got it set up so if I shut Ableton Live down or any door that's being used uh, obviously the push is out the equation uh, but all I have to do is change one MIDI cable from the Digitact and then the MPC will control all of this lot so really it's, um, it's set up now so it all works together in Ableton but it's nice and easy for it to work standalone. So I'll quickly rattle through what I've done. Um, I've basically got a powered USB hub now for the MPC, which is wicked. It works so much easier than daisy chaining loads of stuff. Uh, so uh, powered USB in the back of the MPC. And I've got the grandmother Mini Free Pro 3 and RD9 plugged into that and the MPC is basically sending signals to and from those synths um, I've got the, while it's in Ableton, I've got the I've got Ableton syncing DigiTact via Overbridge um, and then the way to get the push to trigger all of this lot is I've then got the DigiTact uh, sending MIDI clock to the MPC so uh, because the push will trigger Overbridge, the Digitact, uh, that will then trigger the MPC and then the MPC will trigger all of this lot and then if I want to just go standalone and just use, um, so get rid of the, turn the computer off basically, uh, all I need to do is instead of getting a Digitact to send a clock to the MPC, I just get the MPC to send a clock to the Digitact and then the MPC will continue to control all of those plus the Digitact, just the push will be out there question out of the equation even. So if I hit play on push uh, you can see that I've not got all of this turned on yet, I'll turn on in a minute. Um, yeah so it's all um, syncing up which is dead now. So that's all nicely synced. All I had to do in Ableton um, to make sure that everything was as in sync as I could get it and that I was pleased with uh, was just to delay the diggy tack starting um, by X amount of milliseconds in terms of latency from Ableton. And then all of this lot trigger roughly at the same time, give or take very small amount of milliseconds in latency. Um, I know that having auto on in Ableton creates a lot more latency but I quite like to monitor in Ableton. Um, I do have my motor interface so I do sometimes just do direct monitoring whilst recording into Ableton but that's a whole different uh, story. So yeah I'll do a quick um, sort of live set uh, using the push in Ableton. Um, but it essentially it'd be exactly the same just without the push and I've not really got much going on it's just more of a example to show you um, how this lot can work together and if you've got a 
either standalone or door, you can get it to all work together. So uh, yeah, let's give that a go. Okay, so I've just set up, uh, just gonna record it directly into Premiere Pro because it's easier that way. Uh, and yeah, I'll just kind of muck about a bit really with the different instruments and you can kind of see and hear them remain in sync in time. Right, so starting um, with just the MPC, all of this lot's now turned down. I'm not going to bother triggering any of this with the MPC because you're not going to really see it. Um, I'll be starting and stopping with the push. I've not got a great deal going on in the push or in Ableton, but uh, as I say, it's just an example really. Um, and this is synced up as well, MIDI clockwise, to um, something. And I can't remember what. Out of there, out of there, out of there. Something. Anyway, uh, right, so that's recording. Hit play on the push two. Uh, you'll see all of this lot synced but you won't hear it because I've not brought it in.
so yeah, just like a really quick. <coughs> oh, pre one that quick actually, longer than I wanted it to be. But um, yeah, just a quick uh, example of it working together. Really, not like trying to do some amazing uh, house beat or anything. Uh, yeah, just to recap that quick, um, it's basically a powered USB hub in the back of the MPC. Uh, Mini Freak Grandmother Pro 3 RD9 plugged in via USB. Uh, in the preferences and MIDI sync settings in the MPC, uh, it's just a case of syncing those. They show up because it's USB, it's great. Um, and then uh, if you want to trigger via Ableton and a push, um, the easiest way I found to do it um, was to have my Digitact uh, in overbridge mode in the Ableton. Um, so if I hit play on, yeah, I'll try and turn everything down there. So if I hit play on, um, well, you'll be able to see. So hitting play on the push triggers Digitact because I've got it in overbridge mode in Ableton. Um, and the MPC is triggering everything out. Um, and in order for that to happen whilst I'm in Ableton I've got within the settings and MIDI config settings, sync settings I'm sending the clock and sending the transport to the MPC so as soon as I hit play on the push it triggers this, this triggers that which triggers all of those and if you want to do it standalone uh, so without Ableton or a door or a push um, it's all set up now so that and um, because the MPC kind of controls everything other than the Digitect, I now just send out a um, MIDI clock message from the MPC to the Digitect rather than the other way around. And it all works the same but in standalone. So, um, yeah, it's um, that's it. Just got to show you that. Uh, trying to think. Oh, I suppose I could show you how easy it is to um, let's do a, a MIDI track on the MPC and um, because I've got the, this USB hub and it's all hooked up and synced and I'm hoping this is going to work but um, say so for example if I turn on say uh, grandmother so now MPC is triggering that um, let's have a look for the mini freak. So hopefully, uh, if I put it in, so MPC is triggering the mini freak, which is great because it means that you can record, you can use a sequencer on the MPC instead of the sequencer on there, uh, or you can use the sequencer for. Uh, one of the MPC sequences and then just use the, the sequencer on that for another MPC sequence. Sequence is a, a word I use a lot. Um, and yeah, same with the Pro 3. So, um, oops, what am I doing here? Metro A level, that's all right. Uh, so, Pro 3 is there. Let's make sure we can hear it. Uh, more details of how I've done it uh, or any sort of bits and bobs of that um, then let me know. I've just realised I've not explained how the TD3 is being triggered. It's still from the MPC but it's MIDI DIN um, out to MIDI DIN in and because there's two MIDI outs that's how I will then be able to uh, send the other MIDI DIN out to the DigiTact if you want to do it in standalone mode. Anyway uh, that's definitely it this time uh, for this video anyway. And um, yeah, nice one.